Today we're going to be taking two of the things that we've done in the past, which is working with mouse move events, and second, working with HTML5 video, and we're going to sort of put them together. We're going to mash them into our collab. So this is just an idea that I've had. I, I don't know if it's totally a great idea, but I thought it was a fun thing to build regardless. So I run a video site where I've got lots of people watching my videos, and I'm always thinking about how do I make the, the viewing experience a little bit better? So one thing that a lot of developers like to do is they don't watch their videos at 1x. They watch them at like 1.5 or 2, or they like to speed it up and slow it down depending on how quickly or how boring or how exciting something is or how important something is. So what I really wanted to do here is just experiment with a new sort of input that would control how fast the video goes so that rather than you having to click up and down to, to change the video speed, you can sort of just like DJ it here as you're watching the video to go slower and faster. So uh, I'm just going to give you a little play here. Items that so, um, and then, woo, uh, chipmunk. So, uh, and then you just slow it down. On our flex container. And then on each of our items, like dot box, I'll grab them all. I'm just going to set a flex basis of um, 500 px. And, save. and, what that, and this is so you see, what, you see what's going on here. As I move this, like the lowest is going to be 0.5x or 0.4x. And then the highest is going to be uh, all the way up to 4x. And as you mouse over or as you click and drag, depending on how you like to do your interface, we are just changing that value. And then it's indirectly going to be setting the playback rate on this video. So let's jump into it. This won't be too big of a one, right? So, so far what I've done is I've selected the speed, which is the, the entire white bar here. And then we have the speed bar, which uh, is going to be the the filled part in here with the that sort of blue gradient right here. And then I've just got a, a, a video sort of playing here, streaming off of Dropbox. Hopefully it doesn't get shut down. So that's a lot of bandwidth. Uh, and then I've got a video element here, which is the actual video here. Uh, now I'm going to take autoplay off just for our sanity sake. So it doesn't keep playing every single time. And then what happens is when you hover over top of this, we're going to change the playback rate as well as update the actual visual. So let's do the visual part first, and then we'll we'll work on the playback rate. So first thing we need to do is take our speed and add the event listener of mouse move. And when that happens, we'll have a function. I'm using a proper function here because I need this to be equal to the video uh, itself, or sorry, not the video, the actual speed bar when you mouse over it. And cool. In that function, pass yourself the event, and let's just console log the event when you mouse over it. Open that sucker up in your browser and you should see this video that we've got going on and our thing. Now, when I start hovering over top of it, you will now see all the different events that we have going on it. So first of all, we need to get where, like this is gonna be zero pixels and this is going to be however high it is. Let's take a look, look, look. 410, so that's gonna be 410 pixels. So how do we get that? We'll say const y, is equal to, and we'll do the same thing we did in the last video, e dot page y, and we're going to take the offset this dot offset top. Why? Because we can't assume that this bar is going to be at the top of it. There might be padding or margin or anything or another element in between it. So let's console log y, see what we've got there. There we go. You see at the top, you're getting zero. All the way at the bottom, we're getting around 410. So that's showing us how far along we are. We want to turn that into a percentage. So if this is a 410 pixel, if I go to 205 pixels right around here, that should be 50%. So I'll say const percent is equal to, we'll take y divided by this dot offset height. And that's a way to get the height of the actual one that we have there. So let's console log the percent. There we go. So that is one. That is zero, and we could bump those up to get to what we want. Um, then we also need a min and a max because we want this to be 0 0.4 and this to be 4, right? So how do we do that? We'll just say const min equals 0 0.4 and const max is equal to, I don't know, 4x or whatever you think the, the crazy up, upper bound. Um, then what we do is we'll make a height variable, and we're going to set that to... The percentage right now is like 0 0.99, and we want to turn that into 99%. Take our percent variable, multiply it by 100, and then we'll wrap that sucker in math.round. 
and then add percent to the end and console log the height so we got here all right so now we actually are getting a full percentage that we're looking for rather than a zero point something whatever uh, and then we'll take our bar which is the speed bar the bar dot style dot height is equal to height ah look at this so so far we've we've got it up and going looks good next thing we need to do is update that number that's inside of there and the way that we do that is we will then calculate what the playback rate is. We'll say const playback rate is going to be equal to, and this is a bit of a weird one because uh, we don't want the minimum to be zero and the maximum to be one. That's not the playback rate. The At a, at a 0% height, it should be 0.4x, and at 100% height, it should be 4x. So we sort of need to do a little bit of math to get that lower and upper bounds. Uh, and the way that you do that is you take your percent and you multiply that by the max minus the min plus the min. And that's sort of how you can offset your height. We did that in a couple of videos ago when we were doing the text shadow one where you needed to hover negative 50 and plus 50, not zero to 100. And that's just a, a neat way that we can do that. So we have that playback rate and we can take our bar and set the text content to be that playback rate see here so you see it's just like a, a crazy number so we can uh, take that and just run dot two fixed on it and just give us two decimal places yeah there we go and then you can uh, tack on a little x or something onto the end so plus x or you could use a template string to pop that in haha <laughs> looking pretty snazzy Last thing we need to do is actually to take that playback rate that we have here, console log playback rate. Let's see what we got going on here. 3.5. We've got to take that value and apply it to our video. So we'll say video dot playback rate. And, and what playback rate is, if you take a look at it in our console here, video dot playback rate. One is just normal speed. So two is equal to if we were to just play it ourselves. 10 it's the the audio stops at some point it's of um 0.2 the audio stops at a very slow amount as well like 0 0.5 is as, as low as you can get it they're all clearly <laughs> sounds like i'm just wasted trying to teach you flexbox so video dot playback rate equals playback rate and don't worry about those long percentages i know some people are irked when you have like a very long uh, decimal places, but it won't be an issue there. Now we'll give it a play. Looks good. Nice and fast. In the last video, we Slow. learned all about like, basic like, and how all that works. Um, and to... Fantastic. So that was kind of cool. What we did there is we both calculated the height as well as attach the playback rate. If you don't like doing both your presentation and your functionality in a single function, you could shell that off to two separate functions, which you would just then call from your mouse move event right here. And then also we could take this function out and call it handle move. And then up here, we'll make a function. We'll paste that function and we'll call it handle move. And then you just can hook that up to mouse move, but maybe you also wanted to hook it up to touch move. Uh, or any other event that you wanted. We got that. Still works wonderfully. Excellent. So hopefully you enjoy that, and I will see you tomorrow.